But we're in those good old-fashioned values On which we used to rely Lucky there's a family guy Lucky there's a man who Lucky there's a man who All the things that make us Laugh and cry He's Hello, I'm Brian Griffin. And I'm Stewie Griffin. A few years ago, we did an episode called Viewer Mail, where you, our fans, wrote in and suggested ideas for new episodes. Well, it's ten years later, but you're still sending in ideas. Uh, to Rashad in Little Rock, we want to let you know we kicked around your idea, make the baby go wild for a while. Couldn't really find an angle on it. Here's one from Lee Mills of Iowa. Lee writes, Dear Family Guy, was your show based on anything? That's a great question, Lee. In fact, Family Guy is based on an American television series called The Simpsons. Ha <laughs> ha. Actually, Family Guy, much like The Office, is based on a British series called Chap of the Manor. Let's watch. We now return to Britain's most popular game show... Wheel of Politeness! Do go ahead, then. Oh, no, you first. Wouldn't dream of it. Too kind, really, I insist. Wouldn't be proper of me. I appreciate your courtesy. Likewise. Well, we're all out of time. Join us same time tomorrow if it's not entirely inconvenient for you. If so, of course, we do understand, and we do apologise in advance. This has all been an imposition. I'm so dreadfully sorry. 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 Sorry, everyone. All right, kids, enough telly. I hope everyone's peckish for some boiled lamb shank. None for me, Lydia. I'm meeting me mates down at the pub. Again? But, Neville, you spend all your time down at the fox and pig and dog and wolf and cat and fiddle and whistle and cock. And that's where you're wrong. The fox and pig and dog and wolf and cat and fiddle and whistle and cock is for tossers. We're meeting at the dog and cat and bull and whistle and fiddle and cock and pig and wolf and carriage and fife and other wolf. But I need you to stay and have a chat with Collingsworth. I found him with another fag in his mouth this morning. Oh, is that right? So you fancy fags, do you? Well, here. Have a old cotton of fags. I just want a comely lass to look upon me with favour. I look on you with favour. I look on all of you with favour. Shut up, British Meg. Look at Lydia. What a two-bit witchy tie whore. One of these days she's gonna wake up kilt. Oh, matricide. Yet another of your childhood whims. No, it ain't. I'm gonna follow through with... Wait, why'd you say it like that? Cut away, sir. Yes, that's good then. Friends, family, and characters random, to bring you joy and laughter in tandem, to divert and dazzle is our intention, so sit back, relax, and enjoy our invention. Oh, I love summer. <laughs> Good evening, Billingsbury. I'm Clive Crowley. Coming up, a man with a gun and two bullets has taken over the city of Manchester. But first, our top story tonight, Her Majesty the Queen will be passing through our very town tomorrow. With details, we now go live to Indian reporter Trisha Dasgupta. Oh, my golly, there is much commotion. Thank you, Trisha. After the interval, find out which 12 football teams tied tonight. The Queen's coming to Billingsbury? That's bloody sweet! You know, I'm actually a relation of the royal family. You most certainly are not. Where would you get that idea? My mum used to claim she was a Windsor, and I always heard my nana talk about how she took a duke. Must have been a difficult marriage, too, because every afternoon she'd be belly aching about her bloody duke. I think you just had a gross grandmother. No, I'm quite sure of it. And to prove it, I'm going to nick one of the Queen's heirs during her visit tomorrow. And when the DNA proves a match, you'll see I'm royalty. The Queen, eh? I'd like to mash my banger in her blood pudding, googity googity glock. Hello, lads. Oh, hello, Seamus. Right fine performance at the cricket match today. Aye, I was spirited to have you down there watching me. Well, it's a brilliant day for a long and confusing game of cricket. The field is teeming with men in helmets who don't seem like they need helmets, and men not in helmets who seem like they probably should be wearing helmets. Oh, he's badly to clear out of the stadium. Is that good? We don't know, but it's what we do. Yay! Yeah. Oh my goodness, the Queen is going to be here presently. This is oh so exciting. 